a zero mission transport system, three vertical layers, artificial intelligence, and two towering buildings, the line is expected to be the beating heart of Saudi Arabia's ambitious project Neom. With billions of dollars going into the project, there are very high hopes for the vertical city. And what do you know? The construction for the project is well on track. Join us for the latest updates on Neom's The Line. What is Neom? Marketed as a smart city of the future, Neom is the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's brainchild. Around 10,200 square miles of land in northwestern Saudi Arabia has been sectioned off for the redevelopment. That's around the size of Albana. The plan was introduced to diversify the country's economy to reduce its dependence on oil. Once complete, the region will be home to numerous cities, resorts, and other tourist hotspots. The Line that said, the city's most buzzing attraction is the line. The linear smart city will run 170 kilometers long, stretching from the Red Sea up to the city of Tabuk. Current plans consist of two mirrored buildings with an outdoor space in between. The proposed buildings are expected to reach a height of 1,600 feet, making them the third tallest in the world. The population of 9 million residents is expected to live their day-to-day -day lives without a need for cars, falling in line with Saudi Arabia's goal to reduce carbon emissions. For this purpose, public spaces and buildings have been reconfigured three-dimensionally to prioritize the needs of its people. What's more, the futuristic city is expected to be powered entirely by renewable energy. The structure will consist of three layers, one for pedestrians, one for infrastructure, and one for transportation, with the last two levels being underground. Additionally, Saudi Arabia's plans for the city is being operated by robots, so don't be surprised if you come across a robot doing home deliveries, security checks, or other routine activities during your stay there. Residents will be required to submit data to the line to improve the robot's functioning. The line is expected to be built on a network of interconnected modules. A total of 135 modules will be built, with each reaching 800 meters in length and 500 meters in height. The project was first introduced back in 2021, with design and construction being finalized in 2022. Construction for the line began the same year with on-site videos making rounds on the internet. Unfortunately, since there has been little updates about the project, partly because it's located in the middle of a desert. However, a few updates have recently come to light. Reportedly, Saudi Arabia has already completed 20% of the construction as of June 2023, which means the infrastructure for banks, hospitals, and even roads have been laid down. What's more, satellite images of the area look much different than the ones from last year. If you head over to Google Maps, you can even trace the entire construction of the line. Giles Pendleton, the executive director for the line, said that the vertically interconnected city is well on track. While speaking to Al Arabia English, Pendleton said, with the timeline set to welcome its first residents and guests by the decade's end, our project team at Neom is working to bring this innovative city to life. With 20% of the construction completed, the project is now focused on the development of crucial elements like transport networks, adequate utility systems, and urban planning. Pendleton also said that thanks to the modern construction methods, the city of the future can be constructed faster, safer, and more efficiently. The Hidden Marina What's more, the end of the line, which is a coastal selection, the Hidden Marina has also made some progress over time. Excavation for the site is expected to reach its peak soon, but the foundation works escalated to become the largest piling operation in the history of the world. So far, construction workers have excavated 33.3 meters cubic feet, making it one of the world's biggest excavation projects. Not to mention, 4,500 piles have already been installed in Module 43. The company operates with the goal of installing 60 piles every day, making sure that the project is completed on time. In contracts, the Bedranas Towers in Kuala Lumpur feature 104 piles each. Authorities are now focusing on piling work in modules 45, 46, and 47. Once completed, the marina will be known as the largest marina in the world, with the capacity to harbor not one, but two of the world's largest cruise ships. As far as the transport within the city is concerned, Neom has its own high-speed rail called the Spine. However, the 48 stations that were initially decided were reduced to 9, and even the underground tunneling length was reduced by 30 kilometers. Still, authorities have assured the public that the Spine will be more than capable of catering to the residents' needs. Budget 
the estimated cost for the project is a jaw-dropping $1 trillion. However, Saudi Arabia plans to get a return on its investment since the line is expected to create 460,000 jobs and add $48 billion to the country's domestic GDP by 2030. The project is owned and funded by the Public Investment Fund, one of the world's largest sovereign wealth funds and domestic investors. Established in 1971, the fund aims to benefit public welfare, support economic development, and diversify the sources of income in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This wealth fund is controlled by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, with 60% of the total funds collected from within Saudi Arabia. However, the line is not a solo act. Companies from all over the world are taking part in the excavation as well as the foundation process. This includes Keller from the UK, the Barra Group from Germany, and the French Bachi Solachi. Power China, a renowned company, is responsible for the piling of the marina. Meanwhile, We Build and Shabal Al Jaziri Contracting Co. have contract for the spine. The controversy. However, people had their concerns about whether the ambitious project will be able to meet its objectives. According to an expert from the University of New South Wales, the construction of the city would release a total of 1.8 gigatons of CO2, more or less defeating the project's zero emission goal. What's more, the 500 meter tall buildings are expected to consume a lot of energy. Concerns have also been raised about the violation of human rights. Prior to construction, the site was home to many small villages. However, residents were asked to evacuate their homes for the sake of the project. With their lives appended, thousands of people were left with nowhere to go. However, the government responded to the protests and backlash by sending people to prison instead of relocating them. Trojena that said, the line is not the only project on Neom's roster. Trojena, also known as the Mountains of Neom, is expected to be an exciting new spot for mountain tourism. Located 50 kilometers from the Gulf of Aqaba, the iconic new destination spans an area of 60 square kilometers. What's more, the site is home to the mountain peaking range from 1,500 kilometers to 2,600 meters. Saudi Arabia plans to add the experience by offering a range of facilities, including the ski village, ultra-luxury family and wellness resorts, stores, and even high-end restaurants. As per Mohammed bin Salman, Georgina will redefine mountain tourism for the world and will be a part of the global effort to protect the environment. The Saudi press agency also announced that Trojina will also offer multiple sports activities, including a ski slope, water sports, and even mountain biking. The project is slated to be completed in 2026, with the potential to attract around 700,000 visitors by 2030. Trojina will also be widely affecting the country's economy, bringing down the employment rate by creating 10,000 jobs by 2030. The project was first announced back in 2022, and ever since then, the project has made some progress. So far, 1.6 cubic meters have been excavated from the regions around Georgina's mountain peaks to build a giant lake. However, Georgina is not without its share of controversy. Questions have been raised about the stability of the project. Georgina is a winter destination, and it's confusing to how the authorities plan on managing in such an environment. What's more, the region does not see a lot of snow despite the low temperatures. So how would the Saudis manage a ski resort without enough snow? The answer, artificial snow. However, it's not that easy. Artificial snow machines demand a large supply of water and electricity. Naturally, the authorities will dive into the water from the Red Sea. However, that comes with its own set of complications. There's the problem of transporting water over long distances. Secondly, the water will need to be distilled before use, leaving authorities with yet another issue on their hands. That said, other tourist hotspots include the luxury islands Senlada and the Oxagon, the world's largest floating project. It's expected to be the first project to reach completion, opening its doors in 2024. Meanwhile, the Oxagon will be Neon's industrial hub. Overall, Neon expects to redefine urban living with the line at its center. The radical city will serve as a groundbreaking model for development to other cities like it. If all goes well, the line could very well solve challenges like climate change, increased demand for urban land, and rising economic disparities. And that's all for today.